we all, everybody at this table is connected to St. Joe's basketball in one way or another. Um, and I watched my first game last night, and I saw RC there. The team is struggling. The program is struggling, but, I, you know, they they went in a new direction, and we're going to try to figure it out. I want to give you guys, particularly RC and Tashi, because Eric has talked about this in the past on the show, an opportunity to discuss what you see as the positive and negative aspects of the transition from the Martelli era to this new Billy Lang era. That's a that's a real great question. Uh, great uh, question, Dell. Uh, first and foremost, you know, I would want to I, I would want I would be remiss uh, not to uh, mention that you know Phil Martelli is you know one of my you know my one of my special guys. Uh, I know that you know he feel the same way about me that I feel about him. We have a great relationship. Um, his tenure at St. Joe's was unbelievable. I mean, his love for his kids on and off the court was second to none. Um, you know, I don't know all the ins and outs. Um, do I think that it could have been, have been handled better? From what I see, yeah. Um, I, I wish the transition would have been a lot smoother for a guy who's dedicated so much time to St. Joe's, um, to the community, to these young kids in the area. Um, but, you know, things change. You know, and whatever happens is, you know, the destiny of what's, what's supposed to happen. And I, 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 view it as, I view it as, you know, just opportunity going forward uh, for St. Joe's to just do something different. Um, I, I don't look at it as a negative thing. Uh, I, you know, I, I love Billy Lang and the, the whole entire coaching staff and what they're doing. I believe in them 100. percent um, Just as well as I support us, uh, Phil, for the last 10 years of my life, I'll you know go for it and support Billy Lang wholeheartedly. I mean, you know, we've grown a great relationship. So, you know, I, I like to look at things. You know, the glass always half full and not half empty. Um, so. You know, for me, you know, it's all I, I take the positive out of it all. You know, Phil did an amazing job. I played point guard for him for two years. He was nothing but excellent to me, nothing but excellent to all our guys. We have a great relationship to this day. Um, but it's a new day, man, and, you know, I'm still – I'm supporting St. Joe's basketball. I'm looking forward to the future. Fair I'm enough. looking forward, you know, to what Billy Lang is bringing, Dodd Bishop. He has Jeff Foster's son there who's young studs. He has an amazing coaching staff. His player development is amazing. Um, now, I can't too much speak for the school and the things that go on around there. I have a good relationship with uh, the athletic director and those people over there. So I'm just looking forward to a new era. Like I'm a I'm a new school. I'm I'm kind I'm kind of stuck between the new school and the old school. So I'm just looking forward to like new things, changes, and thing and helping you know the St. Joe's community be a lot better and continue to progress. But we we, we can't we can't fail to mention. That Phil is one of the greatest ever to do it in our city. I mean, he's had so many young Fair players enough. with so much talent. Fair enough. Let so me that's let, my thing. Let me let RC comment. Um, it's 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 family. Uh, it's uh, a lifestyle. Uh, and it goes much deeper than any anger towards anybody. Um, I have no feelings towards uh, the new coaching staff there. Um, I have a relationship with the Daly family. I'm very happy for Ryan's success. I, you know, that's as far as I'll go there. Um, when it comes to, you know, my uncle Phil Martelli, um, it's simple. And I don't care what side of the fence you sit on, whether you thought it should be a change or not be a change. Somebody that does that much for a university, for a city, for a league like the Atlantic 10, for the Big Five, for coaches versus cancer, the people that were making decisions had to have a feel. Someone like that doesn't get walking papers they get to go out their way. And the, 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 it, it's happening all over college basketball. Who is UNC Wilmington to fire a coach 
halfway through the year? Like, what, 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 who, what are you doing? You win a national championship, you're going to fire a coach halfway through the year. Uh, Evansville just did it to Walter McCarty. Well, he was engaged yeah, in some, some other bad stuff. stuff. Yeah, yeah, but but he but but we're parting ways with guys halfway through the year mm-hmm. uh, for what? Uh, and then you do you do someone like that. And Tashid Tashid said it, and Eric uh, Eric has said it in fact in the past. My uncle was a legend there. My uncle Absolutely. was St. Joe's University. And if you're going to make those decisions, you better have a feel, you better have an understanding. And you better show some respect. And you all saw how it went down. If you think that was respectful, that's your opinion, and I'll have to live with it. There's nowhere to go.